guys, welcome to Making Mindfulness Fun. We are on to the Enneagram 2 in our series on comparing the Enneagram wing. So we're gonna be comparing the Enneagram 2 wing 1 to the Enneagram 2 wing 3 so you can find out which one you truly are. Before we get into it though and tell you all the great information, please make sure you like this video so that more people see it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single video and turn on post notifications so you know when we publish this video as soon as possible. So type twos, you still have a core desire to be the helper. You want to be there for everyone, but your behavior either comes out as more of a three or more as a one. And sometimes this might fluctuate. As more of a one, you're looking to be more organized, disciplined, um, a little bit more of a perfectionist. And as a three, you want to achieve, you want to be seen as standing out, you know, getting first place, uh, making a name for yourself. And so it's really uh, interesting since I've been married to a type two for a very, very long time. I think even in our times in our life, we have a chance to switch between, I said, said this in my type eight, that when my kids were younger, I was way more of a type eight uh, wing nine. And as they got older and I had more freedom to go express myself, I definitely stepped into my wing seven, maybe too much. Well, I noticed uh, my husband, when I first started dating him, he was way more of a two wing one, so much so that Every single time he'd open the car door for me like a gentleman and then he'd walk around and open his back door and set his backpack down in the back seat. There was not a crumb in his car. I would think that that makes him a lot like a two wing one compared to me who had like wrappers all over her car and was it was always a mess. I thought, man, why do you waste an extra three seconds getting in the car to put your backpack? Don't you just fling it over the back seat? And, and She's maybe eight, it doesn't, by the way. <laughs> that doesn't seem like very efficient. We could have got somewhere much quicker. So it does express, you'll, you'll know uh, your wing in how it expresses itself. Now, as my husband got more uh, entrepreneurial because he happened to marry someone like me, that three wing started to come out more. That that need to, okay, I gotta be the best. If I gotta do marketing, I gotta say what makes me stand out. And um, as we had more space for sports, he got to work on more of his three. So it is interesting to see how a two, who's so self-sacrificing and wants to be there for, each, for other people, how you go through your day, whether it's for a little bit more for achievement or a little bit more for organization. Yeah, perfect. And to make it a little bit more of cliff notes for you guys to take, if you're a two wing three, you're gonna be called the host. And this is gonna make a huge difference based on the name of the one, uh, the two wing one, which I'll tell you in a minute. But if you're a two wing three, you're the host or hostess. You want to be helping others and serving them at the par party, the best host possible. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, you have enough champagne? This is what the ask, you're like as a two wing three because you want to just help people but you also want to be seen as a good person you want to make sure that people can tell that you are a giving type two who's doing their very best to make sure everyone is getting what they desire and you're going to be also more extroverted you're going to be more drawn towards social settings yeah and i think in general the two wing three is more image conscious while the two wing one on the other hand is called the servant and they care more about the way that they individually help um, individual people, the way that they can serve people throughout their lives instead of showing up as the image of someone who is the helper. They are more they more care about how they're actually making a difference in people's lives. Now, one small expression of this, every two-wing one we know kind of has this habit of they're, they're generally the kind of person who would just want to help you so much that they would spend their whole day helping you so much. And we make the joke that how um, our dad would, would literally just, um, if you say, Hey, Dad, I need something. He would jump at the opportunity. What do you need? <laughs> yeah, as soon as possible. I asked him like, to proofread the ball. I'm like, yeah, I, I, Mom just read it. Like, you can do it later. And he's already like reading it. I'm type. I'm typing it right now. Is it can't or cannot? Does that sound better? Which one is it? Which one? Like, like let me know. I which just one want you to help you as much as I can. <laughs> and so, like, could be the be the type to always have the house clean for you. Everything is for other people, yeah. and, and they're also gonna have more organization, right? Definitely. Yes. I think it's interesting how the organization comes out for the type two. <laughs> well, definitely a difference if you're a two wing one as far as your 
it's not going to be the same as what a one wing two. A one wing, a one is going to be perfectly organized. Yeah, they're going to have organization of all their cabinets and have everything labeled. Whereas the one two wing one cleans the shower for three hours mm -hmm. because that was is what makes it organized. That's what my dad does. <laughs> we love it though. Two wing ones, you're great. So notice throughout your day which wing you tend towards more and which one makes you feel in more alignment. Do you feel better aligned? Do you feel better with who you are when you're being more in, like drawn within? not around people, having an organization, having a routine, or do you feel better as a two wing three where you're more extroverted around people, serving a mass groups? Which one makes you feel more in alignment? Perfect. And then last, because we have to wrap up this series every time with a survey, which shirt? Defy the norm? Don't hate meditate? Make America Zen again. Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments. See you guys tomorrow.